I don't know who needs to hear this today, but dependence isn't always a bad thing. Uh, many of us grew up in a world in which we were taught to pull ourselves up by our own bootstraps, to suck it up and go on. Some of this may just be a part of our human DNA. Uh, every single one of us have likely heard the toddler say, me do it, wanting to do it himself or herself. The idea of independence is something that is written into the American DNA. That whole Revolutionary War thing, the War of Independence. And so we have this idea that being dependent isn't a good thing. <clears throat> However, dependence isn't always a bad thing. Annie Hawks was born in New York in 1835. At a very young age, it was obvious that she had a gift for verse. By the time she was just 14 years old, uh, she was submitting poems to a number of different newspapers throughout the region. In 1859, she married Charles Hawks, and they lived the majority of their lives in Brooklyn and had three children. While they were in Brooklyn, they attended the Hanson Place Baptist Church where a well-known minister who also had a gift for composition served there. His name was Dr. Robert Lowry. One day, the inspiration for today's hymn came to Annie. In her own words, she says, one day as a young wife and mother of 37 years of age, I was busy with my regular household tasks during a bright June morning in 1872. Suddenly, I became filled with the sense of nearness to the Master, and I began to wonder how anyone in life could ever go without Him, either in joy or pain. Then the words were ushered into my mind, and these thoughts took full possession of me. Not long after writing the four verses, she shared those with Dr. Lowry, who set that, those verses to music. Uh, it wasn't long after that that it was published for the first time in a new songbook called The Royal Diadem. It also became one of those rare hymns that made its way east across the Atlantic to become beloved in Europe. But what is this hymn? What is this hymn that was inspired by the Holy Spirit on a random June morning? Take a listen, and I'll be back. I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. No tender voice like thine can be
acceptance and love of this hymn, at least not until 16 years later. The occasion was the death of her husband. Again, to use Annie's words, I did not understand at first why this hymn had touched the great throbbing heart of humanity. It was not until long years after when the shadow filled my way, the shadow of great loss, that I understood something of the comforting power in the words which I had been permitted to give out to others in my hour of sweet serenity and peace. Let us today realize the importance of dependence, specifically dependence on God. Let us, like Peter, cast our anxiety, cast our cares on the Lord. Let us realize as Annie Hawks observed, how much we need the Lord in our joy and in our pain. Yes, every hour. I've got nothing but big love for you. I hope everyone has a great rest of your day.